Welcome back, all you big bass lovers. It's Demont coming back at you again. Uh, a lot of you guys know that one of my favorite BFS reels is the Cast King Valiant Eagle 2. Um, so when they came out with the black edition, I had to get me one. Um, and I've ordered from this vendor several times. I'm going to link him down below. He always sends me, so I think I've ordered um, my Cast Kings from him. I've ordered my Shimano BFS reels from him. I've ordered my Shimano 70, uh, Shimano Karate 70 MGLs from him. Uh, but he always sends me, like this, he sent me this as a, basically a free gift, a free gift. Some Cast King Mega 8. I know it's not really BFS, but hey, free is free. Put that to the side. Without further ado, dun dun dun, the Cast King Valiant Eagle 2. Let's look at the box for a minute. Bait finesse system. Affordable innovation. The reason why I love this reel so much, is I can get it on AliExpress. Uh, I can get it on sale usually for sixty dollars. But this will probably be the last one I get because I'm kind of, I'm kind of full on BFS reels right now. Um, but wow, wow, look at that. We've all seen what's the paperwork and stuff. We all know how good this reel is. I just want to take a look at it. Get that out of the way. Just as smooth as the other one. It's just instead of being that champagne color, it's black and red. Man, that looks good. I bet that'll look really good on um, one of those Arc Invoker rods with that red and black. Yeah. Ooh, I think something else. Let me, let me see what I got over here. Give me one second here, fellas. Mm, that might look good on there, too. Is the red the same? Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same. It'll give me a little bit of longer handle. You really don't need a longer handle. I, I like a longer handle. These are really good handles, ZK fans. Uh, let me know if you want me to link them down below. I, I order a lot of my... I like to tinker with my, 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 my reels, my... I like to tinker with my baits. I mean, my wife would say I like to diddle them, but that's neither here nor there. She likes to make fun of me. But <laughs> anyway, since I have enough tackle to make my own tackle shop, but I use the EK fans. See, I have these are my swim bait ones I get for my swim bait reels. Um, that's just a big ass handle. I'll take one out and show it to you. We got different colors. Uh, the handles are actually super light. They're carbon fiber. Um, and like I get this one here as well with this knob here with the foam knob. This is probably one of my favorites. I mean, let me get this one out. But both of these are awesome. You can see they're basically about the same size. Let me see if I can get it zoomed in here. Right? I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to show you something. I'm making it look stupid. All right, so there we go. So this one has the carbon fiber handle. This one has the foam knobs. Well, they're like the rubber with an aluminum handle. Um, they're both pretty awesome. This one has a specialized nut that goes with it. Um, this one this one just uses the regular nut. Well, it's a black nut comes with it. Here I am talking all about nuts. That's why my wife picks on me so damn much. Every damn thing in fishing, diddling your worm. You, um... Big old girls, whoops, sorry about that, guys. Dealing with the big old girls. Um, but that's why she picks on me so much, because every damn thing sounds sexual. All right, so with this reel here, with this handle here, see it has a special nut that goes on right there. These are, that's one for die one, that's one for Shimano. Um, just depends on which one you use. And there's the, the inserts that go inside it, one's for die one, one's for Shimano. Or you can go to the black nut as well if you want to. This is for right hand, that's for left hand. That's what those nuts are for. Um, I don't know why I said Shimano, the inserts there making for Shimano and Daiwa. That's what I was meant to say. That one there's Daiwa and that one there's Shimano. Um, 
One thing I don't like about when they ship them, sometimes these little boxes get squished all to hell. But the handles are always getting intact because the handles are made like tanks. Anyway, back to the main thing here. Let's get this back out of the way. I mean, it's just like the original Valiant Eagle too. I mean, this reel is so much better than the original Valiant Eagle. I mean, it is so much better. The original Valiant Eagle, I didn't like. Ah, come on now. Sometimes the side plate's always tricky to get off to begin with. Yep, that same brake system. Somebody asked me in another one of my videos about this little button being here if I ever hit it and knock it off. It's so hard to, like, to push down, especially if you're having your hand like this. You're never hitting this button. Um, if somebody does, they're holding their hand really weird. I guess I mean, if they hold their, their hand like this on the reel, but even then, it's in an area that you really are not hitting. Because usually if you're holding it like this, your hand, your thumb's sitting up here. Anyway, I guess, I, I don't know. Some people just do some stuff different than I do, I guess. Nice, loud brakes. I mean, drag star. Really nice, loud, audible clicking spool tension. Nice click and drag. So that's why I really love... Casking really hit a home run with these reels. And a lot of their other reels, too, like the Speed Demon, the Speed Demon Elite. <clears throat> well, it's mostly the Speed Demon Elite, the Speed Demon Deadbolt, the Speed Demon Skip and Pitch. I kind of like the Speed Demon kick and Skip and Pitch more than I like the Lose Skip and Pitch. Go figure. Um, but, yeah, this reel here. Um, let me get the other one real fast. Give me one second. Sorry about that guy. Had to go across the shop. Hell, I don't even know if you're hearing me right now. <laughs> All right, so here we are. Here's the original Valiant Eagle. Two, that is. Not the original Valiant Eagle. The original Valiant Eagle, I got it in, I sold it. This is on the Valiant Eagle BFS rod. The uh, This is the, the one I showed you in the video. Um, I think it's six foot. Let's make it, I'll tell you real fast. I'll, I'll pull it back up here so you can see it again. Um, this light makes everything so shiny. Um, power, oh, this is the light action. Well, it comes with two tips, and I put the light tip on here. Um, anyway, this video is not about this rod, but here you go. Here's the original Valiant Eagle 2. It's like champagne color. Uh, it's got the red accents as well. So now I have three of these reels, or four, not four. I have three of these and one of these now. Um, which one do you prefer? Y'all like the champagne color? Or do you like the blacked out version? Now, I like it's not a shiny black. I like it's like a matte black. That looks really nice. Um, I mean, that looks really nice. Let me put on one of these arc invokers real fast. Give me one second. I want to see what it looks like on there. Um, let's pick this one here up. Sounds like Fort Bragg's out there testing their bombs. Well, not, it's not Fort Bragg anymore. I'm sorry, it's Fort Liberty. If I can say stuff right now. There's that. Get a little finesse jig out of the way. Oh yeah, that, that is sharp right there, boy. Look at that. Oh yeah, that is so sharp. Um, I might get me one more of these. Um, I like a lot of the, there's, there's several BFS I really prefer. This is one of them. Um, the Bear King, it's not, it's good, but I've noticed what's really light line, sometimes it'll get stuck in the side of the spool plate. Um, but that's kind of, I fill my spools up really full. 
I know a lot of guys, they fill their spools up bare minimum line because they're out there trying to throw one gram trout magnets. I'm not. I can, but I don't. I'm bass fishing. Uh, I mean, yeah, the, the lightest thing I normally throw is about, well, if you think about some lures are eighth ounce, like some little small jerk baits and stuff are eighth ounce. Some stuff's a little bit smaller, like one tenth. But a lot of people don't seem to understand when you're throwing a Ned rig with a one tenth ounce jig head, that worm, you're basically throwing three sixteenths to almost three sixteenths to almost a quarter. Uh, that worm adds a lot of weight. Let me take this back off. So here's this reel, and this is the reel I had on the rod, the Caesar. Um, the Caesar looks good on it too, but I think the Cast King looks better on it. And this could give you a comparison. The Cast King sits so much lower than even the Caesar does. See, it's not even in the real seat and it's lower. So, I mean, but this Caesar for the money is very impressive too. Um, and that the Caesar, um, the Mega Cuda, I had the pricing wrong. I went back and looked. The Mega Cuda I paid $30 for. This, uh, let me show you real fast. This reel here I paid $30 for. I thought I paid $36, but I paid $30 on sale. And this is the Caesar Mega Cuda. And I thought I paid um, 50 for this, but this uh, Devello, I paid uh, 33 for it. And it's like a big Shimano. <laughs> well, it's just like a Corrado, basically. It's like a Corrado with magnet brakes. Um, I'm going to put some line on this here pretty soon and on the, the Caesar and give them both a try. Um, but yeah, just wanted to dive in and let you guys see what the black one looks like. If you have any questions, ask them down below. I'm gonna link this seller. There's a couple people on AliExpress that sell this reel. Um, the guy I'm gonna link to, he always has like the best price. And if you buy stuff from him multiple times, he hooks you up. I mean, if you buy this same pack on Amazon right now, I think it's like $10. Or maybe a little more, maybe a little less. I don't even know. I haven't even looked at it. But anyway, it's still free. Free is free. I love free. Uh, that's why I don't really go to the buffet no more. Because I'm going to make sure I get my, <laughs> my money worth. And I don't need to be doing that no more. My waistline got too big doing that shit. Anyway, guys. If you have any questions, ask them down below. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I got more reels coming. I got... I just today I got in two more budget swim bait reels. I'll be doing some videos on. Um, they both were pretty neat looking. So I want to look neat looking on AliExpress. We got to see what they are in person. Um, and man, yeah, I love this reel. I think for the price, performance, you can't beat this reel. You cannot beat this reel. It's every bit as good as Cast King's high expensive thing. I'm not even going to name the name. Because it's, it's ridiculous that you can get this for sometimes $65 or cheaper. And they charge on, you got to wait a week or two to get it on AliExpress. They're actually getting shipping really fast now. But to get their other one, the Kestrel, off of Tackle Express or wherever they buy it from, it's 300 bucks or more. It's, and most of the time, they're out of stock. And this reel, I had the cash flow, I sold it. I wish I'd done a video on it, but I didn't. Because I got it in after I already had this reel. They basically shot themselves in the foot for making the Valiant Eagle basically the exact same. The brakes are a teeny bit different. There's a little bit, this, the Kestrel's lighter. But is it um, $240 lighter? No. I would rather buy five more of these. Anyway, guys, I'm going to hop off here. Sorry for the rant. I love you guys. Thanks for watching the channel. Stay tuned for the next thing. Till next time, tight lines.